voice of reason and the one and only Sean Elliott on the subject. And Matt made a really good point, Sean. Do you think that LeBron James is still the best player in the league at 36? Yeah, uh, Rick, I don't think there's any question. And I've said it over and over again. Uh, he's always been the best player. Uh, he's probably been the best player in the league since his third or fourth year in the league. Uh, it seems to me that, you know, the media, they like to uh, outsmart themselves and try to figure out a different MVP every year. Oh, we like this guy. This guy's had a better year, blah, blah, blah. That, that to me is kind of like the Michael Jordan effect, if you will, where uh, you know who the best player in the league is, but you want to prove that you're smarter than everybody else by uh, electing somebody else's MVP. Uh, LeBron James has been the MVP uh, basically every year he's been in the league. Uh, I know that uh, we like to compare other players to him and say this guy is good. No one in this league right now has done what he's done, uh, taking three different teams to the finals. And some of those teams, uh, the, the Cleveland team that he won with, they had no business winning the NBA finals if it wasn't for him. So. Uh, to me, he's still the undisputed king. Yeah, and you think about King James. He's played basketball so long that he actually played when Matt Bonner was playing. So, Matt, do you have any special <laughs> yeah. stories uh, going up against LeBron in your years? Oh, a ton. But one that particularly sticks out in my mind was one time I was the lone person back on defense, and he was coming at me like a freight train. So I'm like, all right, I'm just going to wrap him up and make him earn it at the free throw line. And right there... You see how strong and powerful he is. He went right through my arms and somehow finished that bas basket. And I remember looking at Coach Pop after he hit it, and Coach Pop just looked at me and shrugged his shoulders like, hey, that's LeBron James. What do you want from me? <laughs> and, Sean, you've been broadcasting so long, you actually did his first NBA game on a different network. How did that work out? I, I sure did, and, and that's my LeBron story. So I got LeBron James's first ever NBA game. It was Cleveland at Sacramento. Uh, unfortunately, it was a back-to-back. -back it was a second game of a doubleheader, and uh, the first game was the Knicks or the Orlando Magic, which the network, it, that game went overtime, and the network decided to stay with that game as opposed to going to our game, which was the most highly anticipated debut probably in the last 20 or 30 years in the NBA. And so the first five minutes, six, seven minutes of the ball game, the national audience missed out on it. But I can tell you, when we went to our first time out, we were looking at each other. The crowd in Sacramento, they were buzzing. These people can believe what they were watching. He'd come up with two or three different steals. He fed uh, Ricky Davis for an easy dunk. He had a spectacular dunk. He made four or five otherworldly plays in the first five seven minutes of the ball game and the national audience missed it because they're watching the new york knicks and the orlando magic two teams that were going nowhere <laughs> the knicks have always been a thorn in your side with all the overhypeness and by the way well, sean you look the same the you, you look the same you just had that mustache that cheesy mustache back at that time well the big question was, tonight hey, thank you it was cheesy i look like a muppet <laughs> the big the big question tonight is who will be covering LeBron James. And how about the kid, Keldon Johnson? We look at what he did in the previous couple of games. He was fantastic against Zion Williamson. Do you think he gets the duty of covering King James tonight, Sean? Uh, he, he would be my best guest right now. And uh, I can see Pop in the locker room just thrilled to put Keldon on LeBron James if that's the matchup that uh, they want. He's He's going to enjoy this uh, either way Kelvin comes out of it, if that is the matchup, uh, because he wants to uh, see his young guys grow and get that, that type of experience. And look, Kelvin has the body to take the punishment. He can get physical with, Le with LeBron James back. We, we saw that with uh, the other night against Zion Williamson, where he really did a great job uh, bodying him, didn't allow Zion to bully him around the basket. M made him really work for everything. I mean, out of the seven baskets he got, three were like really easy dunks that where Keldon wasn't even in the vicinity. So uh, it's going to be a good matchup if indeed he gets it. All right, Sean, great stuff there. Bring back that mustache. All right, we're going to take a timeout here.